Hi, it's Jeff Challen again. It's been a while. In this screencast, I'm going to walk through the process of installing Android Studio. So use the link in the lab write-up um, to access the instructions for setting up Android Studio. Um, there's a couple of steps to this. The first one is to get the version that's appropriate for your computer. So I've actually already done this. This is a fairly large download, so um, I did it beforehand to save time. So here it is, and I'm going to run the installer. All I have to do on my Mac, the process on Windows is a little bit different, is drive this into my Applications folder, and that's going to copy it into the place it needs to be. And then once that finishes, I'll be able to open it from my Applications folder. And the first time you run Android Studio, it has a quite a few things to set up. And the entire process of installing Android um, you know, takes quite a few downloads, quite a few steps. So just work your way through it one step at a time. Um, and make sure that you follow any error messages that come up and do you know, follow their suggestions. Because you need to do that at a few places to keep the process going. All right, so I haven't installed this before, so I'm not going to import any settings. Um, if you already have Android Studio installed, um, please make sure that you're running the latest version. If you're not, please upgrade or reinstall it. Um, we're going to assume when we help people that people are using the latest version of Android Studio. And we also later on have specific versions of the API level and the device to use for the emulator for testing. All right, so um, it looks like it's ready to update for some reason. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, if this is one of the steps that appears to you, of course, this is going to download some sort of large file. So Android, what is Android? We'll talk about that just for a minute while we're waiting for this patch to download. Android is a Java-based programming environment for building smartphone applications. So the Android platform is a operating system that's provided by Google uh, that runs on a large number of devices worldwide. I can't remember exactly how many there are. Let's see here, number of Android devices. 1.4 billion Android devices, and that was actually 2015. It looks like now there's more than 2 billion um, monthly active Android devices. So that's actually pretty incredible. I mean, there's 7 billion people in the world, so that's a pretty substantial number. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we've chosen to use Android for the last few MPs and for your final project. Because if you build something using Android, and you can program Android apps using Java, um, using things that you're already familiar with, um, you can potentially reach this enormous uh, group of people that are using devices that will be compatible with the programs that you create. So that's pretty incredible. It's actually really exciting. Um, it's a relatively recent feature of modern software development that you could actually reach so many people um, using a single platform. So up until recently, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, as I was growing up, you know, you had to send CDs around and things like this, and there wasn't as much standardization around a specific platform to use. And so now with Android and iOS and other such tools, um, it's really easy to build one single application and potentially distribute it to billions of people across the world, which is just, again, pretty, pretty mind boggling. Okay, so I guess I'll import my previous version now because I've just, oh, that's not gonna do that. It's not gonna import those settings, fine. Um, okay, so it looks like Android Studio is powering up for the first time, that's great. Um, and now again, frequently for the first time, it's gonna have to help me set up my development environment. So I'm just gonna use the standard set of settings. I like a white background, but you know, you can make your own choice there. Now let's finish. So now this is going to perform another fairly large download. Hopefully this isn't gonna take forever. Um, the Android Software Development Kit is very much like the Java Software Development Kit. It's a series of packages and libraries that you use in order to build Android applications. So one of the things, you know, throughout the rest of the semester for the next couple of MPs, when you're working with Android, when you're working with external APIs, these are big, complicated code bases. And they're, you know, up until now, even on the MPs that you've worked on, 
what you've been doing is sort of medium size building, I would say smallish to maybe at most medium size programs. When you start using Android, you have the capability to build really complex and very, very interesting things. But at the same time, you also have to reckon with the fact that you are now engaging with and interacting with an enormous um, piece of software. And so there are times when working with Android, it's going to really require you to sort of focus in um, and not necessarily trouble yourself with certain things that you might not understand immediately. You need to find the part of the program that you need to work on, uh, work on that part, and you know, not worry about about other pieces that you may not understand because trying to understand the entire Android software environment is just not something that's going to be possible, you know, within the scope of a single class or with even the scope of a couple of years. Um, you know, understanding the entire, but on the other hand, understanding all of Android is not something that you actually need to do in order to build simple and useful Android applications. So this is taking an uncomfortably long amount of time and I feel like at this point, um, hopefully you're not getting bored listening to be drone on about how incredible Android is and how much fun these next couple MPs are going to be. Um, but I'm really hoping that these downloads finish up soon so that uh, we can move on and, and see the rest of the process. Since if I remember correctly, there are a couple of things that we still need to do um, once Android gets done sort of downloading all these pieces. But we shall see. So we can, yeah. So, you know, again, and this is sort of a, the, the amount of time this is taking is sort of representative of just what a sophisticated and powerful piece of software you're going to start interacting with. Um, I'll just stop talking here for a couple of minutes since this is getting sort of awkward. I will have you know that I did pay for the fastest available Wi-Fi at home, but clearly this is not um, not sufficient to have the screencast go at a reasonable pace. What I'll actually do is just pause this and then pick it up again um, once it once we actually. Okay, so we're back. So now it's asking for my password which I need to enter in order to install some software that's going to help me run the Android emulator, which is pretty important. It finished that large download. Um, and I think we're finally happily, mercifully reaching the end of what is a fairly involved and long installation process. But I'm going to pause the screencast again and I'll return when this is done. Okay. So, the Intel HAXM installer only produces this silent installation pass message when things work out okay, and so we're going to hit finish. Okay, and now we're done. Once you get to the splash screen, you have successfully installed Android Studio. If you have problems, please ask a course assistant or a course staff member for help.